this is Sabrina from Paper Architecture with Sabrina and I am going to be showing you a new project that will be available on Paper Architecture with Sabrina's uh, Zibit online store. The instructions for this uh, are, are going to include both the box and the hanging mini album because we can't have one without the other. So um, because of the position of my iPad, you can only see it from on top here. So you can see that there's um, these pulls here uh, to open up the box. And this is what the box looks like on the front. And um, it's a fairly simple box. I haven't done any elaborate embellishing or anything. I just have that copper uh, Tim Holtz book plate on there. And on the bottom, I do plan eventually to put some feet or legs on there, but I haven't been able to find anything just yet that I want to put on. So um, it doesn't have to have it. But the idea of this is this lid actually acts as the back or the spine of a mini album that is hanging in this box. So let me pull that out for you. Okay, and there it is. And I'll just move the box aside. You can see the inside is the same as, as the outside of the box. And this actually <coughs> was made with a 8x8 calendar from the dollar store. So let me see here if I can... I still have the, um, the cover left. So um, this was an 8x8 calendar and then I just cut out the, um, the calendar grid part and then using, I used three paper lines. Mainly uh, you have um, simple, simple stories 24-7, uh, okay, and then I have some uh, Bow Bunny uh, cardstock, it's the um, coffee lines I think it is the double dot coffee lines and then um, this one here with the dots this one here this is from Pink Paisley and it's called uh, Kite Tails it's the back side of the of the Kite Tails and um, so the combination of those three papers works very well together you can of course use whatever papers uh, you like and the idea is with each uh, page, there's 12 pages on here, is for a particular month. There's a magnetic closure. Every page is designed exactly the same. Um, it just has different um, papers and such. So when you open it up, you have the calendar for January. This is 2015. And um, just let me grab something here. There are things on the calendar um, that you can mark. There's the empty space right here. There's places here. So you can put little tiny photos there, uh, anywhere on here. Or you can uh, use any um, stickers that come with the collection that you use. And this 24-7 is quite ideal because it has month, um, it has days, and it has a bunch of fun things that can be um, added on and there's always alpha and word uh, pieces as well, stickers that could be added on to embellish this as you use it. So um, you can even put a photo on the front, you could put a couple of photos here or you could put a photo in there and each month also has a tag that you can pull out and put some more photos on and do some journaling on the back. So I'm not gonna pull out all the tags there, but each month does have one. And so you just flip it up and as you flip it up, the paper from the back will match the new months that comes. And, oh, I forgot to put my tags in these pockets here. But, so there's tags that can go into um, the pockets here, okay? And then, of course, there is that pull-out tag there as well, and the magnetic closure. So then we flip it up, and we're in March, and so that paper on the back here matches March. And then we have a couple of tags here, 
and we have that tag that pulls out there. Okay, and there's April and May and June and July and August. September, October, November, and December. And again, they all have those tags that pull out and some of them have those, those pockets. And this just hangs nicely in your display box, like so. So this is a really fun project to do and I hope that you will be interested in making it. Just uh, hop on over to um, Paper Architecture with Sabrina at zibit.com and I will have a link for it below on the um, YouTube video as well as on, on the uh, blog at Paper Architecture with Sabrina. So thank you so much for joining me. Happy paper crafting and we'll see you again. Bye for now.